I'm Sonia. I'm Abon. And I'm Kate. And today we're dishing with you from Peacock Cafe, located at 3251 Prospect Street Northwest in Georgetown. This is the place to come for Sunday brunch. Yeah, actually, I would agree with that. And martinis. But our guest today is Kelly Collis Frederick, who is the publisher of City Shop Girl. Welcome, welcome. What is Thank City you. Shop Girl? City Shop Girl is a daily email. Well, actually, we publish Monday through Friday. And we promote sort of all things happening in D.C., from happy hours to spa treatments to shopping events. Discounts and deals. We do do a lot of discounted deals. Now, we launched in October 2008, which was sort of, you know, all hell was breaking loose. But um, Prime recession and shopping time. Exactly. <laughs> so a lot of our um, vendors asked, you know, we would like to extend a special deal. And so we still do a lot of exclusive deals, but sort of the flip side is we try to find things that are really kind of inexpensive and fun to do around the city. Because you would think you'd also want to be a little bit unique in the sense that when your readers and whoever, is, whoever receives your, your, uh, your emails, that they stand out above, uh, stand out apart from others. Um, we certainly hope so. I mean, the, the design of the email is meant to be very short and consumed on your PDA or, you know, quickly at work. I mean, everyone goes out for happy hour and we try to tell them, like, well, this is a great place to go. Have you checked out their patio or their new happy hour menu? Um, so that's what we try to sort of so dig in So who are at. the majority of your readers? Um, our readers are, for the most part, sort of under the age of 40, uh, definitely female. Um, so they're girls. Putting the girls. They are girls. Yeah, that's right. They are city shop, shop girls. Can you imagine I'm a guy and I'm going to city shop girl? But do you have any male? Well, we do have a small percentage of, of male subscribers, um, but really when, when we're writing the email and looking for things, we're going with the, with the, the young woman in mind. Well, and, and why is that? Is it because women are making the majority of monetary decisions for households these days? Are women like the power shoppers? Uh, well, they're certainly the shoppers, um, but also a lot of the women, they're, they're single. I mean, we surveyed our readers. We've got a lot that, meaning single, not married. We have a lot, of course, that have boyfriends or, or maybe a fiance, but we do do a lot of stuff for the single woman in the city. Um, and I mean, we also do things about the museums and new exhibits that are coming and, and things that um, make it special. And we sort of try to tie in social media with saying, okay, you know, we, we promoted this museum exhibit today and then maybe we'll Twitter or put something on Facebook. You know, while you're down there, go check out Teaism and get a cup of tea and a scone biscuit. And so we try to find things. That are I sort love of scones. Sorry. <laughs> I really do. You said you launched in October. So <laughs> October 2008. So the, yeah. the height of sort of the downturn yeah. in, in the market and the economy. How have you felt that your your message has changed, if at all, to your readers? Because I feel like in 2008, I was like, yeah, let's spend money. Like, oh, I feel like shopping. Let's go shop. <laughs> but now I'm a little bit more spend thrifty, I guess if you will. that's why I thought it was the discount and deal. Email. Right. So I has the message changed a little bit? Um, it's evolved a little bit. Um, and I think that, you know, when we first launched, I mean, with City Shop Girl in the name, it was really focused on shopping. And my background is working with retailers and marketing. So that was sort of my comfort zone. Um, but the bottom line is that you may not be going out to shop as much, but you're still going out to eat. You're still going to happy hours. You're still want to find going out. Going to consume. You're, you're still going to consume something. You may not buy the cashmere sweater this season. Um, you just you might, stare at it. Yeah, yeah. Or you might want to go check it out. You might want to go yeah. see a sale, and but maybe you're not buying, but you want to know what's happening. Do you have a favorite piece of news to give people? Do you prefer like food and restaurants over um, spas, or what, what's your favorite? Well, certainly anytime we do um, spa related, um, it's very, very popular. I'm I mean, sure. and again, it goes with the we whole like idea. To for ourselves. Yeah, well, and, well, so do I. You know, well, I, well, I do. I do. I love massages. So, do you think that more guys would be into this? Do you I think? Th are, you, shop are you going to say that? City shop, yeah, city shop dude. City, <gasps> city shop dude. Uh, city shop bro. But I was going to ask you, how did you decide to go down this track? Because you had a, you had a background in retail and marketing. Mm -hmm. Uh, with uh, in retail in the retail space, so how do you decide to actually start out in this particular track in October of 08, but as well as go after the women? Well, a couple things happened. I was working with a um, women's retailer, a dot com, and I was launching their um, website, and I sort of became obsessed with consumer behavior online, particularly how women buy things. When do they click on something? When do they act on a sale? When do they put things in their cart? Um, and then combined with, I was sitting outside actually at the um, Alexander, Alexandria Warehouse Boutique um, sale that they have every year. And um, I was seeing these women in February standing in the cold, and I was one of them, you know, 100 deep. 
waiting to get in. And I just felt like there was a market to, con you know, talk to these consumers and tell them what's going on. Um, they were obviously craving it. And now, especially with the Daily Candy not publishing in Daily, DC, right? um, I oh, think there's not. even more no, of a Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So, we're going to keep continuing but doing But you will it. also do some kind of fun events to get people um, involved and, and a part of the community. You all did a pretty fun scavenger hunt this yes. year. Yeah. What, I mean, how did that, that end That was up? just so much fun. Well, it was our anniversary and we wanted to find a way to sort of give back to the vendors that had been participating with us and also the readers finding a fun um, event for them. Um, and so we had our readers register and they had to go around the city and collect items from vendors all over the city. Um, and then we sort of um, brought them all in for an event at the end of a two-week period. And it was just, it was fabulous, it was fun, it was a great way to engage the readers. We did hints over Twitter and on Facebook. Um, so is this an annual event? It, we are definitely going to do it again, and it will be even better. I mean, the prizes were great. We did $4,000 worth of gift certificates oh, wow. and area vendors. Um, and the team that won was just, they were fabulous, and it was really neat to see That's them so That's so creative excited. if you think about it, because you, now you get all your readers into stores, into some of your partners, and just other people in general, and, so. And that's really what we're all about. We're trying to find, I mean, we're all things DC, and I'm really passionate about um, the city, like I know you guys are too. Um, and so any way I can find to engage something DC, I mean, when we work with designers, we like to do, you know, are they from DC? And store owners, and we like to kind of tell the story a little bit in the email when we can about how it's DC. And I think our readers look for things that are sort of local. And are there any new things coming up in the next year that we should look for? The scavenger hunt to definitely wait for, and any new things? City Shop Bro, City maybe? Shop Bro. What do you think? Well, we do have um, sort of long-term plans. It's not City Shop Bro. <laughs> um, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, maybe I'll go, I don't have to go, go daddy tonight and see what's available. But, um, uh, and we, you know, maybe playing, you know, because as our readers get um, sort of older, finding ways, you know, do we do something around brides? Do we do something around motherhood? Um, uh, potentially, guys, I don't know that the guy readership as well. Um, but I think the, the more immediate plan is to do much more events. Um, we have an event coming up with, I think you might have interviewed her, Al Shimei Forever, um, oh, yes. another local skincare Ada. company, Ada, yes, yes, yes. Um, and coming up in March. Um, and we're, we've are we got events with every month going through the March, summer. March, what did March? March 8th. March 8th. Monday, March 8th. On the schedule. We'll, we'll On the be schedule, looking forward right. to that, yes. and we'll be looking forward to the City Shop Girl email in our inboxes every morning, thank, or afternoon. I'm not sure when you send them out. Yeah, when do you send them morning. out? It's in the every in morning. In the morning. So you can sort of Except scope it out at work. <laughs> so yes. You can scope it out yes. at work, That's and right. then you can go after work. That's right. That's right. So you check your inbox and make sure you've got one in your inbox too. And thanks as always for watching this episode of The District Dish.